I got involved with drag. It was Pride, on Pride, probably like 2015. Juju was performing, I believe her name is Juju B from RuPaul's Drag Race. She was performing for Pride in Minneapolis at the Loring Park. And I just seemed, I don't know, it just seemed very magical to me. I just loved how she could do these things, dress up and perform and be entertaining and everyone just live for it. That's something I've always wanted to do, literally. I just always wanted to sing and entertain people. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I could put these two together and <laughs> make something out of it. I was very timid. I didn't want to do drag. I still was very unsure if that's something I wanted to do and, you know, my family worrying about me wearing dresses and all that stuff. <laughs> it, yeah, it made me shy away from all of that. But then I started to not really care. I was just like, you know, I'm gonna live my life and I'm gonna live it how I want to. I'm gonna live happily. I'm gonna do what makes me happy without anyone there to judge me or like hover over me. That's when I started performing, honestly. And I think that's where I got hooked. There's something about it. When I get on stage, I just turn into like Sasha Fears. Like <laughs> it's a whole nother personality versus what you see now, like, it's a whole different person. And then after that, it was like everything is like history, because I just loved it so much. It's really amazing, like, the light that drag can really just bring to someone. It's really crazy. Two years ago, I decided to start sewing, start learning how to sew myself. I actually started from the YouTube videos. <laughs> and ever since that, I've just been making outfits, at least two outfits a month. I was very scared at first of sewing, very scared. Like, I didn't think I could do it because there's so many things that you have to learn, literally, like, and just the fact of, of like, bringing something to reality from a drawing to manifest it in reality is just, like, crazy to me. I usually start by sketching up my own ideas. Then I source the materials, get everything that I need in the cart. Ends up being out of my budget. <laughs> and then I just take time literally getting everything. Just take parts and yeah, I come in this room and I, I like literally bring it to life. This is a trans flag. I wanted to make a trans flag into a garment and I wanted to make it more of a statement. So I kind of made it into a train. It's like a 50 inch, something like that train. The garments that I usually make, I use them in a lot of my performances. I think a lot of people live for them. <laughs> Because, I don't know, it's, just, it's a lot of blood and tears that, that goes into making, like, stuff. I don't think people actually know how hard it is. Favorite fashion designer would have to be Gua Pei. I don't know if you've ever heard of her, but oh my gosh. <laughs> Amazing pieces. Like, I want to be able to have some of my pieces in a museum, like one day, maybe as like a drag museum or something. That would be so beautiful. A 
last year I I did a show in um, Monty video and it was amazing. I did a tribute to Tina Turner. She wasn't dead yet, but <laughs> I did a tribute to her and it was just amazing. Like the crowd was just over the top. Beautiful people, beautiful experience. My partner is my literal number one supporter. He literally supports me in everything. It's something he had to learn to love, honestly. I think he learned to love it as, as much as I love it. I can't, couldn't love him more, couldn't love him anymore. Love him the most. Drag has taken me for a crazy ride, honestly. <laughs> it's taken me for a ride. I just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I wouldn't have had these experiences, I know that for sure, if it wasn't for drag. So I'm very honored that I even start, like started it and happy. I'm just happy that I even started it. But the journey, I feel like it's just getting started, honestly. I feel like I haven't even moved yet. <laughs> Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies. Mark and Margaret Yakel Julien on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota. On the web at shalomhillfarm.org. Alexandria, Minnesota a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage-funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota. On the web at lrac4calendar.org. Playing today's new music plus your favorite hits, 96.7 Cram, online at 967cram.com.